Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Xtool just announced their newest laser engraver. No, it's not this one. It's this, the Xtool S1. And before I unbox it and give it my full review, I wanted to have a conversation with all of you. When you think about your existing laser engraver, what do you think about before you go, hmm, maybe I should upgrade to a newer laser engraver? I have my own list, which I'm gonna go over here, but I would love to hear what you think about that in the comments below. But for me, obviously the first choice is power. Right? When a benchtop laser engraver first came out, the top of the line models might be 5 watts, or maybe even 10 watts. Now we're seeing 20 watts, 30 watts, and even 40 watt laser engravers. Like this, you can buy a 40 watt upgrade for your existing, say, Xtool D1 Pro. But a more powerful laser module might not be the only upgrade that you're looking for. Because, yeah, while that upgraded module might be able to cut faster or engrave faster, it also produces a lot more smoke. And that smoke, well, depending on your ventilation setup, could be a problem. You might need to relocate your laser to another area in your shop, or you might need to upgrade your ventilation system to make sure that those fumes and smoke just isn't getting everywhere. And another concern is these. These are something that a lot of people take for granted or don't even use. You need proper eye protection, especially with these open frame benchtop lasers but a lot of people just don't wear them and that's a big safety concern. Because with a 40 watt laser, all it takes is one stray ray right into your eye and well, you ain't getting your eyesight back. So when you think about how you can operate your laser more safely, you know that ventilation and that eye protection is a really big deal. And another concern is the ecosystem that you're in. I've talked a lot in my previous reviews of the Xtools series that they have an entire ecosystem where they have rotary attachments and honeycomb panels and air assist and even fire suppression systems that all kind of work together. So that's a big concern when you're already in an ecosystem, you know, does that ecosystem still work with the newest lasers? Or if you're not in an ecosystem, you still wanna be concerned about future upgrade paths. What accessories can I buy for that laser? So those are kind of the areas that I look for when I think, hey, I have an existing benchtop laser. What could convince me to jump over? And that's the angle that the Xtool S1 is trying to go for. They, Xtool thinks that they've developed a laser that might be able to convince you to upgrade from your standard benchtop laser into something new. And if that sounds exciting, well, you should stick around. I'll have my full review of the Xtool S1 coming to Hoffman Engineering soon, so be sure to subscribe. The Xtool S1 releases on October 18th, but if you want a sneak peek, you can go to xtool.com and join their pre-release party. They have giveaways, discount coupons, and even some uh, sneak peek accessories there. So if you want to take a look, go to xtool.com now. But if you'd rather wait for me to put it through its paces, be sure to subscribe because I'll have my full review on this coming soon to see if their marketing claims are actually real or just marketing fluff. So thank you all for watching and I would love to hear your comments down below of what features would really get you interested in upgrading from your existing benchtop laser to something new. What features are out there that just don't exist in your laser or you know what could be more powerful, more user friendly? You know, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.